What is up guys, Razor here, welcome back to Final Fantasy 4 Pixel Remaster for the PC. Last time, made our way to the Village of Mist and used the bomb ring which turned out to be a bunch of bombs and it burned down the entire village. We made our way to Kaipo Oasis of the Desert and got ready in the party. Then we made our way here to the underground waterway and recruited Tella. Let's head through this underground waterway. So I already explored part of this in the last episode. We got three of the chests. <clears throat> so I think I'll just defend with those two and just have... Cecil, Cecil take out all the enemies. Because I don't want to waste their magic right now. And they don't really do a whole lot of damage with their physical attacks. So, I think it's better just to defend with them. I could use darkness, but... <clears throat> they're not at the heal with a bunch of potions and stuff, and... I'd rather save my potions for later. Only got 15 of them anyway. Okay, an iron armlet. Which I believe we... Okay, we already have... I'm not going to give one to Tella. <clears throat> I'm not going to give anything to Tella, actually. <clears throat> There's a good reason why. Okay, new to me here, Gig and Toad, <clears throat> which has been in so many Final Fantasies. I think that's all the chests on this floor. Let's move on to the next floor here, I think. Yep. Man, I can't stress this enough how awesome it is to have the maps. Okay, so we got a chest over there and two up there. Okay, let's see. Should take the south path first. <clears throat> yeah, I could defeat the enemies a lot quicker, like I said, if I use magic, but I don't like I said I want to save their MP. Then we get an ether. We have a door over there, and then there's a path going down as well. I keep fighting the same enemies over and over again, though. <clears throat> okay, Rosella learned Toad. Very nice. Probably won't be using that too much, but it's always nice that nice to have new spells. Wow, killer fish again. 
Seems like it rebels against killer fish. Cecil's about to level up. We'll rest here. This magic field repels all monsters. You can save and use a tent or cottage in here. Let's use my tent to rest and prepare for the upcoming battle. Okay, so we can use a free tent, basically. The girl's asleep already. She must have been exhausted. Who is she? A summoner from the village of Mist. She holds great potential. With proper training, she'll be able to master many spells. Look at her. So sweet and innocent. She reminds me of Anna at that age. Who is Anna? My daughter. She eloped with a bard to Domsian because I didn't consent to their union. Tell me, what business have you in Domsian? A friend of mine has been struck down by desert fever. Ah, so you seek the sand ruby. It won't be easy to obtain. But first, there's a small matter of a vicious monster that needs taken care of. A frightful creature it is, with eight enormous tentacles. We must kill it and reach Domsian before it is too late. <clears throat> too late for what? I don't know, I only pray my instincts are wrong. All set. The magical field allows the use of tents and cottages in this area. You can also save your progress. Let's go back this way though, we need to get the other chest. <clears throat> I might actually use darkness in this battle. <clears throat> Since we got back attacked. Okay. Cecil leveled up there, level 17. Here we get a potion. Hmm, how do we get over there? Not sure why Cecil does like low amount of damage sometimes and other times he does a high amount of damage. Kind of weird. Anyway, that pass blocked. So we'll have to make our way around somehow. Alright, let's go back to where we used the tent. And we got new enemy here, zombie. Uh, one thing, they take like no damage from uh, Cecil. I'm pretty sure they don't take much damage from darkness either. So we're going to have to use magic in this battle. Uh, you want to use fire on them. Hmm. <clears throat> 
because I reeked the fire if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> and obviously the reek the holy as well, but we don't have access to holy right now. They're about to level up again. I guess I can go ahead and use a tent. I have a, I have five tents, so I guess I'll go ahead and use one here. Even though we literally just used one not long ago. Okay, now we're back over, over here now, okay. So we get the ice rod there. Okay, that's all the chests on this floor. We can go on to the next floor then. There's a level up there, level 14. <clears throat> okay, we got two chests down there. I'm going to start cutting out random battles, guys, because otherwise these videos are going to be very long. So I'm going to cut this battle out and I'll be right back. Okay, 580 gill and a bomb fragment. All right. Okay, we got a chest over there and then one right there as well. We got a hidden passage. Okay, a feathered cap. Alright. Okay, got new to me here. Red mouse. Or moose. However you pronounce it. So let's do row. And then we want to do fire. Uh, they have high resistance to physical attacks. Uh, but they're weak to magic as you'd expect. Yep, there you go, see? Just use magic on them. Take them out in one hit. Tello finally leveled up for the first time. Level 21. He doesn't gain any MP when he levels up. He just gains his hit points. And there we get a potion. Okay, and there's the rest of the chest right there, I think. Nope, there's another four out of this. Okay, we got new enemy there in the back. Alligator. Must not be weak to thunder. I figured they'd be weak to thunder. But I guess not.
Pan Arctic win. Okay, Rosella and stop. Very nice. Here we get an hourglass and a shadow blade, which is an upgrade of the dark sword. You cannot dual wield in Final Fantasy IV, though. You can dual wield in the other three, the first three games, but you cannot dual wield in this particular game. Also, I bet one thing you might be wondering, you'll see that Rosella has Blizzard and Thunder, but no fire. There's actually a good reason for that, and you'll learn about that later on. It's a nice little touch that Square Enix did to Rydia's character. It'll all become clear later on. This way leads outside. The monster lies in the cave beyond. Use a tent outside if you must. Yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and use a tent. Why not? Okay, let's save it. He's down there. Okay, so we got two chests over there. And we got new to me here, Sajin and Tiny Mage. Sajin's pretty much been in every single Final Fantasy. And I believe the Tiny Mages were in Final Fantasy 3 as well, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong about that, though. It seems familiar. They seem familiar, so I think they were in Final Fantasy 3. Oh, they have Osmos. It's very annoying. They give a decent amount of EXP, though. Okay, got another new enemy here. Togur. I'll just have Cecil take him out. He can one shot him anyway now. Hades helm and Hades gloves. Very nice. Here's the last two chests. Yeah, they can attack twice, the alligators can. And they have a lot of hit points as well. So definitely the toughest enemy in this area. Hades armor and Hades shoes. So basically the Hades set, basically. Or Hermes, sh there was Hermes shoes, my bad. Shoes are the same effect as haste.
All right, I want to quick save it here, and there he is. Uh oh, watch out! And it's boss time against Octo Mammoth. So you definitely want to use Thunder against this boss because it's weak to Thunder. So you want to have Tella and... Or is it weak? Is it weak to Thunder? Yes, it is weak to Thunder. Okay, I was just wondering... Well, I wouldn't do that much damage to it. It's also weak to Darkness as well. But I think it's better just to use the physical attack. With Cecil. Yeah, and as you can tell, uh, the more you attack it, it'll start to lose its tentacles. And that means you're getting close to defeating it when it, once it's out of tentacles, it's almost dead. So it's a pretty cool boss. Yep, he's only got two more tentacles left. I guess this is a prelude to Ultros. This is Ultros before Ultros was Ultros. You can tell we almost got it. Just keep casting them thunder spells. Cecil does so much damage though to this thing. And there you go, Octo Mammoth defeated. And for defeating the boss you get 500 gil and 1200 EXP. Very nice. Come now. Domsian is beyond this waterfall. Alright guys, that'll be it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. And later. I do have to go back to the underground waterway though because I missed three chests there. So in the start of the next episode, I'll get those three chests that I missed. Yeah, thanks for watching. Later.